British Prime Minister Rishi Sunak is in Belfast looking to secure support for the new deal on overall of post-Brexit trade rules in Northern Ireland. Now, Sunak took questions from factory workers. He was asked about the disconnect between corporation tax in Northern Ireland versus the Republic of Ireland. Sunak added that he wants to see more investment from small and medium-sized businesses. That is the price that is on offer. Because if we get this right, if we get this framework implemented, if we get the executive back up and running here, Northern Ireland is in the unbelievably special position, unique position in the entire world, European continent, in having privileged access, not just to the UK home market, which is enormous, fifth biggest in the world, but also the European Union single market. Nobody else has that. No one. Only you guys, only here. And that is the prize. I can tell you, when I go around the world and talk to businesses, they, that, you know, they know that. They're like, well, that's interesting. If you guys get this sorted, then we want to invest in Northern Ireland. Because nowhere else does that exist. That's like the world's most exciting economic zone. The deal comes after more than one year of talks between London and Brussels, where the two strive to reset relations strained by Brexit. UK Prime Minister hailed his deal on post-Brexit trading arrangements. The new deal creates a green check free lane for goods coming from the rest of the UK to Northern Ireland and that the goods intend to stay in the province without heading into Ireland and the EU's single market. UK approved food and medicines will be fully available in Northern Ireland. The deal will also limit the oversight of the arrangements by the EU's European Court of Justice. Sunak immediately won accolades from business groups as they welcomed moves to ease trade rules. Opposition Labour Party leader Keir Stammer supported the deal and vowed to vote in favour of the new post-Brexit trade deal. But Mr Speaker, DCI Caldwell shooting is a reminder that we must continue to strive for peace, that we in the House must take our obligations under the Good Friday Agreement and to the people of Northern Ireland as seriously as they do. It is in that spirit that I have been clear for some time that if the Prime Minister were to get an agreement with the EU, and if their agreement is in the interests of this country and Northern Ireland, then Labour would support it. Yeah. And we will stick to our word. Yeah. We will not snipe. We will not seek to play political games. Yeah. And when the Prime Minister puts this deal forward for a vote, Labour will support it and vote for it. Yeah. Yeah. But Sunak's success highly depends whether the deal convinces the Democratic Unionist Party and whether the party ends its boycott of Northern Ireland's power-sharing arrangements. Democratic Unionist Party lawmaker Sammy Wilson still feared Northern Ireland's position within the United Kingdom. Could I remind the Prime Minister that although he talks about 1,700 pages of EU law being removed from Northern Ireland, hundreds of thousands of pages will still remain. Border posts are still being planned to be built, and the Prime Minister has admitted that future EU laws will apply to Northern Ireland unless, under paragraph 52, his government decides not to proceed with law changes in, uh, for the United Kingdom as a whole, or he vetoes EU proposals in the Joint Committee. Can he understand why we do not have confidence in that, and why we still fear that the, our position within the United Kingdom is not going to be restored by this agreement.